Okay, everybody, here we go. It's me, Gregory Manorino. Sunday, January 28th, 2024, and this is my newest segment of Markets A Look Ahead. People, let's talk here. So Friday, I did a video where I covered specifically what's happening with the banking system. We already understand, look, this is, this is a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer here. Before anybody else, and I'm going to just say it, you and I started talking about the issues with the banks. No deposits, no loans, and no deals. Way before the regional banks started to fall apart. You know, I have explained to all of you, <laughs> the large banks are not immune to this. They want you to believe that's the case, but it's not true. Um, so just... We just found out last week. What happened last week, in my view, is profound. The Federal Reserve's emergency lending program got maxed out. It hit a record high, meaning, look, the system is insolvent. The system is illiquid. It operates in a perpetual vacuum. You know all this. I've covered it over and over and over again. The story here, and why I am even bringing this up again here is my email box, and I, look, I love all of you, that's the truth. And if I do not write back to you, forgive me, because it's impossible for me to keep up with all of the emails from everybody. But I'm going to tell you here, look, I have been explaining since the end of last year, this market is going up and up and up and up. Record, 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 record. And guess what happened? Yes, we hit record, 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 record. Being that... Clearly, you and I understand that there is a major, and I mean major, issue with the banks. Does that mean, and this is the question I've gotten from, I don't know, hundreds of you, um, Greg, is now the time to sell stocks? Is now the time to sell stocks? With regard to the banking sector, I wouldn't tell you, probably not. And with regard to the market itself, probably not as well. And how do we know that? There are several factors. Number one, we don't have to guess, you and I, when the meltdown's going to occur. That's Look, stop, people, look. I understand most of you still watch the mainstream media. It's all propaganda. Look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Watch the S&P 500. Yay, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. No. Watch the drivers of this market. And you and I, again, what are we doing? We're focusing on the 10-year yield, the U.S. dollar on a relative strength basis. This is a major driver of the markets. Forget about leading economic indicators. They don't matter anymore. Fundamental factors no longer matter. As a matter of fact, let's talk about that real quick. It's going on 22 consecutive months that U.S. leading economic indicators are pointing lower, meaning the economy's getting worse. Oh, but if you were to turn on the propaganda ministry all weekend, they're touting this fake GDP number. Oh, this GDP number is fantastic, way better than anybody thought. Again, no talk at all how government spending and war spending is added to the GDP number. We'd be negative if it weren't for this, okay? But again, it's being touted as the greatest thing in the history of the world. The consumer is strong. Do you know how you can tell the consumer is strong? According to the mainstream media, what they're trying to sell you is yet another lie. Consumer spending is higher. Consumer spending is higher. Consumers have no choice but to spend more, people. You know this already. What do we find out? The Federal Reserve's favorite, favorite inflation gauge, their personal consumption expenditures, blah, blah, blah. Oh, came in a uh, year over year, 2.9% higher. People have no choice. They're being forced to pay more. But you see, the mainstream media, they're going to tell, they're twisting this around as they always do. It's a mind screw. Oh, people are spending. They must be doing really, really good because they can spend. No, they have to spend more, people. You can't make it up. But going back to the banks, Trouble for these institutions is way worse than we're being allowed to know. Again, the FDIC has already made us aware that there are hundreds and possibly even thousands of banks that are going to fail. But we, you and I, who keep our cash in these institutions, we are not allowed to know. This is privileged. Look this stuff up for yourself. It's privileged information. Means some people can know, we can't know. So, with regard to these institutions, yes, 
Get your cash out. Only keep in these institutions what you need to keep to transact. We are forced to participate in their system. I get that. So many of you continue to write to me. Oh, Greg, you're telling people to take their cash out of these. I'm not telling people to do anything. I want people to consider that they should do that because of the information that I'm giving them here. If you don't agree, you're welcome to not agree, okay? But in light of what we're seeing here, the Federal Reserve's emergency lending program getting maxed out, record high. That's a problem. Understanding the, the system is illiquid. It operates in a perpetual, perpetual vacuum. It's a black freaking hole. Look, again, only keeping these institutions, in my opinion, this is what you should do. What you need to transact to unfortunately participate in their system. You're looking for a safer alternative? It's a credit union, period, the end. Okay, they don't take the risk that commercial banks do. I don't know how many times they have to cover this because, again, these are the questions that I'm getting. With regard to the market crashing because of this issue, let me explain this to you in case you don't know. Let me say this as clearly as I can. The banks are in trouble. That means you and me, we're in trouble we will be forced yet again to bail them out. Do you think I'm, 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 I'm living on another planet by saying this? We did it before. You don't think they're going to make you do it again? <laughs> of course you do. So yeah, we're in trouble. They never get in trouble. You understand? They can do whatever they want to. They're going to consolidate power. That's what this is all about. That's what it started with the regional banks consolidating, you know, getting bought out by the bigger institutions, and that's what's going to happen here. As the Federal Reserve continues to dismantle the current system along with other central banks, that's what they're doing to implement their new tokenized system, which you and I have covered at length. Okay, that's what we're going to get. A tokenized a digital system where everything is going to be reduced into a tradable asset, including human life. That's a fact. That's what they're going to do here. A, a uh, cross-border, trans-world system. You understand? Very simple. They've been working towards this for a very, very long time. Uh, it's the goal of central banks. And don't take my word for this either. Uh, Bank of International Settlements, look at their mission statement, people. Wake up. Anyway, um, so forget about the banks being in trouble. They are in trouble, but that means you're in more trouble because we, the people, will be forced to bail them out again. Now, let me give you another little, little, little a bit of information here. What did we just find out? The Bidenstein mummy man creature uh, administration is now going to be awarding, in other words, gifting billions and billions of dollars to the tech sector. What did Greg Manorino tell you at the end of last year? 2024 is going to be the year for tech. Intel just got smacked, okay? Intel is going to get billions of dollars from the mummy. The mummy man, okay, uh, buying votes, quite obviously, okay. Uh, so, I already told you, buy the dip here on Intel, buy tech, I am buying tech, I am investing in JEPQ, which will give me more of an exposure to the tech sector, and plus, they're going to pay me to own the, the exchange traded fund by paying me a monthly dividend, people, I got this covered, that means I got you covered. Does this make sense to you? So, how many of you are surprised that the government is getting involved in uh, in big business here. Uh, again, awarding, this is not a loan, billions and billions and billions of dollars to tech companies. It's got, I mean, I've been telling you for the longest time, they're going to do things you can't believe to pull cash into them. Now, we're broke. Not only are we funding wars all over the place and building up the war machine to, 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 to the end, possible to be, oh yes, a tanker, an oil tanker was attacked Outside of the Red Sea, this was uh, the Sea of Aden or whatever the heck it is here. They're, they're telling us it was the Houthis, you know, the the Iranian surrogates here. Iran's going to get the Iran's going to get hit. You know that. Um, anyway, so what? So far, what I have covered, and I want to hear from you. Ponder it for a second. Let's pause. Does it make sense to you? Okay. Do you believe I am wrong? that you and me are once again going to be forced to bail out the banking system. Biden's already bailing out the tech sector or, get, or awarding them billions. You don't think he's going to do the same thing for banks moving forward here? If they need anything, of course he is. Uh, the Federal Reserve, they're going to flood the banks with more cash than you could possibly imagine here. Again, th these major institutions, they got a, a, a main line direct to the Federal Reserve. You understand? They're not going to be allowed to fail. You are. Okay, uh, as this economy continues to free fall faster and faster and faster. Something that you and I have covered at length would go on and on and on and on. I was just writing some stuff down. Let me see what else. I want to make sure I got all this stuff covered here. Anyway, look, 
With regard to this market, people, we've gone up and up and up and up and up and up and up. It just doesn't seem to stop. Does it need to pull back? Yes. What will Greg Manorino do? Not sell. I'm looking to buy here. So for all of you who are asking me, Greg, Greg is now the time to sell? No, it is not the time to sell. The market is going higher. Again, think about it. Biden-Stein administration awarding, awarding billions of dollars to the tech sector. They're not going to allow the market to fall. This is a selection cycle. Snap out of it, okay? The, the system that many of you still believe exists, if you didn't learn anything so far, well, here you go. It doesn't. It doesn't exist anymore. If our votes counted, they wouldn't, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be allowed to vote. Please, wake up, people. This world is, is run by central banks who control everything, including the flow of information. Why do you think you're hearing the mainstream media propagate more nonsense about this GDP number, how great it is, how strong our economy is, all the, the consumer strong, they're spending more? Because they have no choice. It's a lie. All of it is a lie. Once you understand that you are not living in the environment that maybe you were brought up in, if, you live as, if you're as old as I am, and I'm pretty old here, you, uh, it, it's a completely different situation, and it's only going to get a lot worse from here. We are right now, people, seeing the development of development of a neo feudal system. I've been telling you this for ten years. Extreme haves, extreme have nots. The faster the market cra craters, the higher the market's going to go. Who does the market really support? Don't take Greg Manuel's word for this. What did President Trump say? He said, "Oh, a higher stock market only helps the rich." what he said. You don't believe he said that? Look it up for yourself, okay? The one of the two percenters, they're the one that benefits from this, not the rate average guy and the average girl. No. Uh, anyway, people, look, you got this covered, and you're not going to change anything, okay? That's the beauty of what you and I are doing. You and I have been setting ourselves up for what's coming for over a decade here, betting against the debt, becoming our own central bank, watching global debt explode, taking the opposite side of that trade, holding physical silver, my favorite asset of all time, gold, my second favorite asset of all time, uh, copper as well, I love this stuff, platinum, palladium, exposure to commodities, staying long the market, gaining exposure, I think you need some uh, Bitcoin, at least some Bitcoin in your portfolio. Bitcoin's back over 42,000. Look, people cannot generally recognize opportunity. In Greg Manorino's opinion, and I have been dead on with this, okay, I'm telling you, it can't possibly hurt you, do your own research into this, to having a little exposure here to Bitcoin. I think it's going multiples higher moving forward. All the big cryptos are when we eventually get the meltdown in the debt market. And this debt market time bomb, it's been ticking louder and faster for years and years. You think this is going to go on in perpetuity? In other words, forever? How about no? It's not going to. All of these insane distortions that exist in the market, they're going to correct at a time of their choosing where central banks pull the plug on it. Right now, the Federal Reserve is pulling liquidity quietly out of the market. You know this. We covered it recently in a video. Look at the title of one of my videos. I explained to you, and I even showed you a chart as, as to how the Federal Reserve is pulling liquidity out of the market. Their repo uh, facility here where the Federal Reserve is passing vast amounts of cash back and forth between institution o institutions overnight. What is this really all about here? It's to fake liquidity in the market. The Federal Reserve is quietly stopping that, okay? So they're pulling liquidity out of the market. At the same time, we got this issue with the banks here who are now, who just maxed out the Federal Reserve's um, lending facility. Look, you do what you want with this information here. As I have told you all for I don't know how long, this is not a channel for people who want to be entertained. You want to be entertained? Check out my my new racing channel on Instagram, Gregory underscore Manorino underscore racing link, in, in, or at least a, a link in the, the description of this video. Follow me on Instagram. That's going to be fun. That's going to be about drag races and all kinds of fun. This channel here is about people who understand the seriousness of the situation here and are going to take action, not going to sit back and suck their thumb. You want to see what that looks like? No. We, me, my friends, and my lions are people of action. You understand? And I know you're getting something out of these videos. I think these... <laughs> if I were not me, and I were watching these videos, I would think these are freaking priceless. This information here, we're going to get it. Anyway, look. Love you a lot, people, from the heart. I mean that. Please get this stuff out there. Please share it. Um, 
let's let's wake up some more people here. What, what do I always tell you? Okay, make a positive difference in the world. It's got to start with someone. It might as well be you and me. Okay, that's all I want to do. I don't want to be known as uh, the. Uh, I want to be known as a guy who's tried to make a positive difference in the world. That's all. Okay, now, if you think I'm not doing that, that's fine. I am trying my hardest to do that. I know there are a lot of people that don't like me. I don't know why. More people like me than don't like me. I'm trying to help everybody. Even those people that don't like me, if they look, if they consider what I'm talking about here, maybe they'll come around here. A lot of people, they're just haters, and that's okay. They, haters love to hate, right? Anyway, look, we just got to love each other. With that golden thread is love that should surround the entire world, and that's going to pull us through this, people. You understand? All right, look, uh, we got each other's backs always. I will see you tomorrow morning for my uh, usual pre-market report. I hope to see you there. And I hope you do comment. I will read the comments. And I will uh, try to comment back if I can. Generally, it's very difficult for me, but I'll see you in the morning. All right? Love you a lot.